guys, we're finally doing it. We're doing part two of DIY gift ideas. And I have a playlist down below with all of my other DIY ideas. You're welcome to watch those if you want to. Um, so this series is based off of the fact that it's not really easy to go out nowadays and pick up gifts. So if you are like me and want to have a homemade gift idea, here's six of them. All right, so the first homemade gift idea is earrings. You'll need two earring hooks, two jump rings, or just a pair of hoop earrings, cardboard and embroidery thread. I've chosen four different embroidery threads for this earring. The earrings are gonna look like this, so this is what we're working towards. I started off with the light pink thread and I wrapped that around that cardboard 10 times until I had like a loop, basically. When you go to pull that loop of thread off of the cardboard, make sure you maintain the inner loop, like keep your finger in that loop, and then use the scissor to cut through one side of the loop. Now you wanna take that thread and put it into the hoop. Then you wanna take the extra long piece of embroidery thread that's still attached and cut that off to the length of the rest of them. Then take some more of the embroidery thread and wrap it around the part that's on the earring around five times to secure it on the earring and tie a tight knot in the back of the earring. Then you just cut that to the length of the rest. And now you got the first part of the earring. Now you just have to repeat that three more times with the other colors. I think that this gift idea is really super easy to do. It doesn't really require a jewelry kit. So if you don't have that jump hoop and the hook, all you really need is just some hoop earrings that you have laying around your house and some embroidery thread. And you can totally make this by hand. You can choose whatever colors you want. You can put as many tassels on it as you want and go crazy, be creative. Okay, I'm putting the hook on right there and then I'm evening out the tassels and this is what the earrings looked like at the end. And I gave them to my sister Alina for her birthday. Aw, she's so cute. On to the next gift idea. For this one, you'll need a box that's roughly the size of a tissue box. So I cut out the back of it. So cut out the back of your tissue box and then paint the rest of your box. So this is going to be an earring holder or an earring organizer, earring tray. So that is why I'm using the paperclip right there to poke holes in a grid shape, grid-like fashion in the box because you're gonna be able to poke your earring through those little holes. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Uh, so I have this ribbon right here and I'm just decorating the box with the ribbon. I actually got this ribbon from the Dollar Tree for one dollar. We're only buying things that are a dollar. Of course, everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar. Believe it or not, everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar. It's shocking, I know. And basically the idea with this gift is everyone needs some way to organize their earrings, right? No and this could be a nice decorative way to organize your earrings and see them all at once out in the open. You could put it on your shelf, you could put it on your wall, you know. I did have to use a rock to balance the back of it. Like I just put the rock on the inside of the box if you wanted it to be on your dresser or your shelf. Otherwise, just hang it on your wall and it should be fine. Okay, so this one I absolutely love. This is a classy or delicate jewelry tray. If you need a gift for your grandma or your mom, this is totally it. And the first step of this is just taking my lace and mod podging it to the inside of the scallop shell. So that inside of the shell is gonna be like the tray, the jewelry tray. You'll put your jewelry inside that scallop tray thing. What? Actually with Mod Podge, you normally people do napkins actually, like pretty napkins. So if you have like a really pretty napkin that has a cool design on it, Mod Podge that to the inside of the tray. I just did lace because I didn't have any fancy napkins. So then the last step of this, this is so easy, is you just take a gold Posca paint pen or some kind of shiny pen and outline it. There's something about the gold outline that just makes everything come together and it looks really classy to me. Look at that, that the jewelry piece is actually my jewelry piece, but yeah, look at this on the dresser. Oh my gosh. I'm honestly considering just making one of these for everyone in my family, like all of my aunts at Christmas. I mean, like, that's just like something, it's just like a classy thing to put on your dresser, you know? I really need a synonym for classy. Elegant, elegant. Okay, up next, the idea is a phone case charm. This is something that was actually really popular when I was in junior high. Everyone had these little charms that would dangle off their phones and they were super fun to use. So I don't know why they're not popular anymore. So I'm bringing them back. So what you need is an earring charm, some embroidery thread and a jewelry clasp. This is a bunch of clasps that came in a squishy makeover pack. But the first way you could do this is just take some embroidery thread, tie it in like a circle and make sure your charm is on that circle. 
This is me showing you my earring. I'm taking that earring charm off. Um, so I'm going the route that has the clasp already on that embroidery thread. Um, you don't need the clasp necessarily, but this is the way I'm doing it. So I have that little clasp and now I can hook it through on my earring. And the advantage to this way of doing it is that you could take it off and then you could pick a different charm and hook it on without like taking the thread off of your phone case. And this is me showing it off. This is super fun. Everyone used to like having these phone case charms, I'm telling you. It, it could be something fun to bring back. Okay, so up next we've got a decorative notebook or journal. So you need one notebook, cardboard, and some fabric paint. For the first step, you want to cut the cardboard into rectangles and piece them together. And just make sure the gaps aren't lined up exactly next to each other, I guess, like stagger the gaps. And the idea for this is that we're going to be creating a distressed notebook that looks like it's made out of wood, except it's made out of cardboard. So now that those are all glued on, take some fabric paint and just very thickly paint it on. Very messily, very textured, because wood is textured. So the idea behind the fabric paint is just to create texture. I'm cutting out some hearts out of cardboard again, and then gluing that to the front of the notebook and then the back of the notebook, the two tiny ones on the bottom left. That's an interesting method to pour paint. But okay, so we're taking some white acrylic paint here and just painting it over. I used a dry brush with no paint on it whatsoever to just scratch off some of the paint and make it look more distressed. And then here's the fun part. I took some more fabric paint and created little nails in the wood so it looks like wood panels. So this is optional. I wanted to decorate it with a doily. I have these paper doilies and I thought it'd be fun if I Mod Podged it to the top corners. And then I painted it with some yellow and orange and some greens. And I was just trying to, you know, decorate it, make it look nice. I ended up putting a doily on the bottom too to kind of even things out. I thought that made it look better. And I Mod Podged it and this is the final result. I love the way this notebook came out. This is just something super fun you can do for yourself or for someone as a gift. Okay, so this next idea is more like part of the gift experience than the gift itself, if that makes sense. Uh, for this one, you need just binder clips and paint, basically. Uh, so I painted the binder clip white and I decorated it however I felt like decorating it. Then take a piece of paper that's roughly the size of a business card. You could even just take a business card itself and paint it and then decorate that however you choose to decorate it. Very psychedelic, colorful. And then just write the name of the person on it. I should probably tell you what the experience, the gift experience is. It's a place setting, like a name setting. Have you ever been to like a fancy dinner and they have your name there? Well, what if you did a birthday dinner for someone and you put their name at it? And this could be part of the gift experience. All right, so I saved one of the best for last. So I took this Clorox wipe box or container, I guess it's called, and I took the stickers off. And then I have some cardboard that I cut up into strips. And I also am bending that cardboard so it is shaped like the, the, the circular shape of a Clorox wipe container. And then I hot glued that to the container, similar to how we hot glued that notebook. So this is also going to look like distressed wood, but there's going to be a twist because it's a container, you know. So we're doing the same process. We're taking that fabric paint and painting it all around the outside of the container. We're creating some texture to it so it looks like it's wood. I did a couple of layers of paint. So I did white paint first, and then I did some brown paint. And then I did some white paint again, I believe. I think that was the order. Nope, we did black paint. And then I did white paint again. That was the order that I distressed in. And then I did the same thing with the uh, fabric paint where I created the nails. I have these leaves that I got from the Dollar Tree for $1. And I glued those all over the container. This is going to be a full centerpiece. Um, I guess I didn't tell you the gift idea. That's Mod Posh I'm putting around. So this is going to be like a flower container. What is that called? A vase? The words I forget are truly horrifying sometimes. Yeah, like a fall vase centerpiece. Here it is. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you feel like it's for your mom? And we have the shout outs. We have TT, Eden, Pickle Sprinkle, Shira, Color Me Sunshine, Anne, Madison, Biopat05, Riona, Bryn, and Cushy Cutie 19 uh, hi guys, this is your shout out. Thank you so much for being the best. And these are the six uh, DIY gift ideas. Comment down below which one you like the most. And if you do choose to recreate these for your family members or your friends, let me know 
Uh, leave a comment down below if you do it or tag me on Instagram. It's just like super fun for me. I know last time Khadija uh, recreated the yellow earrings from part one and it was just, it came out so good and it was so fun to look at. So definitely let me know if you do that. And that is the end of the video guys. Subscribe if you want to and I'll see you next Sunday for another video. Bye.